I am joined by Gadane. <laughs> I put a T on there, didn't I? I told you I was going to butcher it. Gadane. That, How was that? That's perfect. Damn, see, perfect. Hey, there you go. Parisian Mayo. Yes. All right. Chief Commercial Officer with the very busy Sonesta Hotels. And uh, you're in New York City today, right? I am. I'm in New York. How are you? Good. Good. It's a uh, you know, busy Monday, calls after calls, but uh, I just can't believe we're already in the second quarter and it's April. So, Well, thank you for squeezing me in. Absolutely. You're, you're two months into this gig, so you probably got it all figured out by now. <laughs> I wish I could say that, but this is my sixth week. Yes, a month and a half in. Well, tell us about your background. Sure. Um, so I, you know, I recently joined Sinesta as their chief commercial officer. Obviously, the company has gone through significant growth from having 53 hotels up to 278 now. Um, so it's a very, very exciting time for Sinesta. A little bit about my background. I started my career actually on the West Coast. Um, started most of my experience was in operations from front office management to reservations and um, all of the operational roles really had the passion to become a general manager one day. Um, along the way, I decided to uh, jump over to the revenue management side, which is the analytical strategical side. And I really enjoyed um, that role. And I, be, I stayed in revenue management for probably close to about 15 years. Um, and then after that, you know, I decided I need to expand my brand. I always look at myself as a brand and we always need to evolve and change and learn. So I decided to jump over to the sales side and, uh, I, uh, stayed in sales for about eight years. Um, most of my sales experience was here in New York city working for different brands and uh, then I jumped into a little bit over the digital marketing side, which has a lot to do with obviously working closely with revenue management and sales. And so that's what has brought me here as a commercial leader. Um, in, in this role as a commercial leader, I oversee sales, so revenue management, and the digital marketing, field marketing. So my background has really brought me to where I am today, having access and experience and knowledge in all those three disciplines. So has Sinesta always had a CCO or is this brand new? This is very new. So, you know, Sinesta, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, going through such a, a vast growth, um, they felt that it was critical to have uh, a chief commercial officer to oversee those three disciplines. You know, whenever you have a, um, a large company that has three disciplines that report into typically to different leaders, there tends to be silos, right? So especially with a company going through such a vast growth, they needed to have a leader that oversees those three disciplines to make sure that we're moving in the right direction. Um, we're not working in silos. There's collaboration, communication. That's really, really important, especially in larger, larger companies or larger organizations. Right. So again, break down the org chart for us. Uh, you said revenue sales, in digital marketing? Field Portal. marketing, yes. So talk about those groups for a minute, rolling up into your, your the CCO. Sure. So um, I report uh, directly to the chief operating officer, which is uh, Vera Manukian. Um, she herself has been with the company now for close to about four to five months. And her role is very new as well. Um, they, they brought her on as the company is going through a significant growth. Um, for my direct report, I have a VP of sales who oversees all sales functions. So that includes group sales, transient sales, uh, third party partnerships, um, systems, um, analytics. So, uh, and his name is Black, uh, Blair uh, McSheffrey. He reports into me. We have revenue management. Revenue management oversees our pricing strategies, forecasting, budgeting, managing all of our yield management systems, and working very closely with third parties. And then we have field marketing. Field marketing manages all digital marketing, working really closely between properties, hotels, and our brand marketing team. So 
I mean, I would assume, uh, like most organizations, the pandemic has really changed how things are done there. And, and like you were saying, lots of changes at Sinesta, lots of growth, overnight growth. Bringing you in, there's, I've, I've noticed online a lot of new people coming in. Um, talk about how, at least, you know, the best of your ability, because you haven't been here for very long, but how has it changed how they do business? Revenue. So I, I think, you know, I don't think they've changed anything recently with my arrival, but prior to my arrival, you know, the teams on property, off property, regional teams have really focused on the segment that is traveling, right? So many of our extended stay um, hotels are doing very, very well because there's still some travel out there. Most of it is project related, it could be medical, government related, um, technology, some of the segments that are still very, uh, very much traveling, they are staying in our hotels. It, it's not where it should be or where it used to be, but we're still running high occupancy, somewhere in the 30 to 35%. Then when you take a look at some of our warmer destinations like Florida, Georgia, uh, San Juan, um, New Orleans, we're seeing higher occupancies. And a lot of that has to do with domestic leisure. Obviously, it's been a, a very difficult 13 months. And there is pent up demand out there. So we are seeing the, the domestic leisure couple families that are taking the opportunity to go and stay um, one night, two night or weekend getaway in our hotel. So essentially, uh, you know, our teams have done a really nice job targeting the customers that are traveling um, versus, you know, just sort of waiting to see what happens next. The three organizations that roll up into the commercial office uh, talk to us about, I mean, like, what do your, your meetings look like? Is that a weekly? Is that a, uh, bi-monthly, uh, who's involved? What's that look like? So it continues to evolve, right? So I've been here six weeks now. So we're constantly looking for, uh, ways to communicate. Lines of communication is absolutely critical. Um, again, just breaking down the silos and understanding what is the sales team working on, what's the revenue management team working on, and how could the field marketing, digital marketing help and support them. So I'll give you a perfect example. Right before I joined this call, I had a quick stand-up. It's a 30-minute call where each of our leaders talk to us a little bit about trends. What, what kind of trends have we seen in the last seven days? Um, we have someone from the sales side that gives us a quick soundbite on what's going on on the group sales are we seeing group activity are we seeing meeting planners wanting to book business for the second half of this year or is it mostly in the first half of 2022 we have someone from revenue management that's telling us you know a little bit about trends on booking window are we seeing people booking for next week or are we seeing some activity in the summer months um, with the vaccination obviously um, you know, across uh, the states, we're seeing more and more people being vaccinated. We know that there is a audience out there that's just waiting to travel. And we know that there's disposable cash out there that want, you know, people want to spend, want to travel. Um, so we're really staying very close to that to make sure that we're taking full advantage of that. Um, so those are some of the conversations that we have at the top of the morning on Monday. And then obviously there's some key takeaways and follow-ups that we need to do, but it's really important that these three disciplines communicate that uh, beginning of the week. So everybody knows what they need to focus on, what their target is for the week, what's on their plate um, so that we could collaboratively work together. Katarina, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I know you're busy. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I've got to jump on a different call at 11 o'clock to see what we're doing for summer months. I, I think that it's a, uh, there's a huge opportunity for the summer. I think we're definitely going to have a better summer this year than last year. Obviously there was a lot of unknown last year, but uh, looking forward to a stronger summer season. Yep. I'm ready to. Well, thank you again. Thank you. you have bet. a great day. You too.